Israeli defense officials say Egypt has asked to reopen border crossings with the Gaza Strip, which Israel closed after Palestinian militants violated a three-week-old ceasefire. Israel has agreed, which appears to be an attempt to applaud or forward the ceasefire designed in part to ease Israel's crushing blockade of the coastal strip. Yang Yan has more. Passages were expected to be opened around midday on Tuesday. In all, 12 rockets and mortars have been fired from Gaza since the period of calm began. The latest mortar shell fired on Monday. None has caused any serious casualties. In response, Israel has kept the crossings closed about half of the time since the ceasefire took effect June the 19th. The closures had led to widespread shortages of fuel, electricity and basic goods in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israeli troops shut down facilities of an Islamic charity for a second straight day in the West Bank town of Nablus. The Israeli military has accused the Islamic charity movement of being a front for Hamas. There was no immediate comment from the charity. Israel has intensified its crackdown on Hamas in the West Bank, targeting charities, money changers, media and schools with suspected ties to militants. Elsewhere in the West Bank, the Israeli military lifted a two-day curfew that confined residents of a Palestinian village to their homes and bought movement in and out of the community. Yang Ye, CCTV.